Hello my friends, welcome to another exciting Photoshop effect series. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a simple glass effect or glass morphism effect in Photoshop. Alright, so if you're not subscribed, now is the right time to subscribe while we jump right into it. So without having to waste time, let's get started. Just click on file and click on new. I'm just going to create a page for this. I'm just going to picture as though I'm creating a design already. Right, so what I'll just do is I'll just name this glass effects like this and I'm just going to change um, the size so I'm, I'm, I'm going to be using a 1000 by 1500 pixels so I'm working with pixels this time everything else stays the same I'm just going to create this like this so I created with this page you're not new to this page I'm just going to go over and drag my file that I'm going to be using for this exercise right so you can use any picture of your choice just make sure it's high quality if you want to use this image it will be in the description of this video so you can feel free to use and practice along it's good you actually practice along using the pause and play method if you want to follow along right so i'm just going to duplicate this and hide this i'm working with this now first right so selecting the layer i'm just going to um if you've not converted to smart object, convert to smart object. So when you're moving around, it doesn't lose form. Go over to your rectangle tool, and um, what you should do next is draw a rectangle. Sorry, that was a mistake. So draw a rectangle like this, and um, yep. So make sure your rectangle is white, so you can go change the color. And um, there are two ways to actually do what I want to do. Come here and um, reduce the edges, or you can easily do that here so i'm just going to set my values here to like um let's say 40 you can see now i have my rounded corner so i can go directly and um, just do that manually by let me zoom out by clicking on this and you can see that all the corners are getting rounder and rounder and rounder so i'm going to leave this this way right double click use a white color please white color click ok like this right so when you've done this the right way right click on the shape click on blending option right make sure you pay attention at this point and um, it's going to open up the blending option like i said the image i used is in the description of this video so do what to use that so over here i'm going to do a couple of things and um, what i'm going to start with is i'm going to start with the drop shadow right I'm going to add some shadows to the rectangle to make it um, more realistic and um, these are my settings so you can copy my settings everything here the distance the spread and the size right and i'm going to add some stroke to it too so i'm just going to come here select the make sure it's active so this is what i want to change make sure it's in the gradients so um everything else is set so i'll just click on this and click on where it says color and I'm going to come here and select this um, light yellowish color that makes up this gold spectrum on our face. Right, so it's going from that color to white. And uh, let's be mindful of these things. And uh, we can click OK when we're done. I was supposed to use inner shadow. Some persons do use that. But then I'm not going to be using it for this particular video. So just click OK. Everything else is perfect. This way it's going to come out well. So, um, with this done, just click OK like this. Right? So, now you're on track. So, moving on, next thing you want to do is click on this layer, make it visible. Click on it. And um, the next thing you want to do is go over to your filter and filter gallery to add some glass effects to it okay but before i do that i'm going to go back to blur and go to gaussian blur and add some blur to it first that's what i'm going to do first so click ok copy my settings for the blur values then you can now go to filter and go to filter gallery right you can do any um you can do this first then you do the blur but i always want to do this first before i do the blur so i'm going to click on distortion and click on glass you can copy my settings here this part is very very important so you don't skip it so click ok like this and you can see nicely arranged so i'm just going to select that and right click and click on create clipping mask so it's affecting only the rectangle that's where we want it to be that's the effect we want to achieve 
So I can see that the stroke now is slightly off, it's not giving me what I want. So I'm going to double click on the stroke here like this. So it brings up the blending option for the stroke alone, right? So double clicking on this brings up the stroke option. So what you want to do is reduce the opacity drastically like this. I'm going to use not too much that you can't see anything. So I think 20, um, 20, 25, 30 is actually a safe place. So when you do this, just easily click. Um, you might want to add some shadows to it, add some more shadows to it, just like this. And then when you are done, do yourself a favor of clicking OK like this just this way okay so um, there you have it okay so now that we have that done let's add some finishing touch to it so I have um, a couple of text that I typed out I'm just going to go in and just bring it inside and um, I just want to make this uh, a, um, a wholesome feeling feeling of um, having designed something right so I'm just going to make this big and I'm just going to position this here. Yeah, just here like this. All right. So um, let's add some more spice to this whole image. Let's try and see if we can color balance. So go to color balance and um, you can feel free to come along with me. Use my settings. So for I'm just going to use this for mid-tones. For the highlights, I'm going to tilt towards my reds and also my yellows. And for the shadows, I'm going to be doing things, things differently. I'm going to tilt into the yellows, um, to the blues, I mean, and um, also to the red. Right? Because, yeah, this is what I want to achieve, right? Oh, that's a mistake. So I'm going to put this back here. Not too much. You don't want the reds to be too much. I think somewhere around six is nice and great. All right, you can add, um, you can go on and on and on, adding some effect and all of those things. But this is how I created my glass effect. This glass effect that you're seeing inside of Photoshop, right? All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video just above this. Love you.